Hello, everybody. My name is Jules. And I... Okay. <laughs> what an introduction. Open up the TEDx Flanders. What an honor. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm yours, and um, I'm here tonight to speak about the plastic problem, the finding of solutions, and creating a beautiful product. I've been an industrial designer since 2006, but my interest in, in making products goes back to my childhood. I've been always more interested in uh, building things, uh, deconstructing things, and trying to find out how things work. When I was a child, I built a radio-controlled speedboat. It took me almost one year to finish, and on the day of tryouts, I invited my friends and family at the river. It turned out to be not a success because the, the boat uh, took water and it sunk. Later, I built an airplane of 1 meter 50. It took off and it crashed. But at that point, I know I want to be, become a designer, making problems and finding solutions. <laughs> But I'm not here to, to, tonight to talk about my childhood memories. I'm uh, invited to talk about plastic and something we call the circular economy. But what does it mean? In the news, we see more often about environmental problems, global warming, polluted air, plastic in the oceans, you name it. No more swimming in pristine waters, because actually what we're doing is swimming in the plastic soup. It's a big issue, but what are the solutions? For somebody like me with a background in industrial design, plastic is an extremely interesting material. It is light, flexible, colorful, and moreover, economical and fast to produce. That's the reason why there are so many plastic products. Plastic products, they are all around us. About four years ago, when the plastic issue was not as much in the news, I already developed some interest in, uh, in plastic recycling. A UN report from 2014 especially caught my attention, because it said the toy sector uses plastic mo most intensively in uh, products. Most intensively, what, is, what does that mean? As we all know, uh, 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 plastic uh, packaging material makes a, a lot of plastic waste. But when we buy a bottle of water, only 2% of its uh, actual weight is plastic. And for a toy, it's 100%. For example, this uh, toy kitchen is 5.6 kilo of valuable plastic. We need to collect about 400 plastic bottles to reach that amount, or 150 bottles to equal this push bike. Recycling plastic bottles is a very good thing, but recycling uh, plastic toys seems to be an absolute necessity. Kids shift their, in it's a, kids shift their uh, interest fast, they grow older, and the plastic toys are thrown away or stored, so valuable resources are not used. It shouldn't be. In Europe alone, we, we produce every year 24 million tons of plastic waste, and only one-third of it is collected for recycling. That is a lot of waste. We, we asked several uh, recycling centers in Europe if they recycle plastic toys, and most of them said they didn't, because it's not economical. But what could be the reason for that? Plastic toys are a combination of different materials, different plastics, metals, uh, batteries, fabrics, and that makes them complicated to recycle, and takes time, and is also costly. So here was challenge number one. We had to improve the existing recycling um, process and, um, and, and add technology. Therefore, we had to find a, a recycling partner and kindly force them to build a machine to do so. 
So the machine is as big as this room, and it's able to automatically sort the materials, um, take out contamination, and very interesting also, it automatically can uh, separate the colors. So far, so good. We were able to recycle the plastic toys, but the next question is what to make out of it. And another fact that shocked me is that only 4% of the plastic products in Europe are using recycled plastic, only 4%. And let's be honest, most of them, they look uh, grayish, dullish, not very beautiful. Uh, so we asked ourselves once again, isn't it possible to make something beautiful out of these colorful toys? There are existing a lot of great design chairs for adults, but not for kids, while ergonomics and good design are important too. So this is what we made. In, in the, uh, uh, a comfortable, safe chair for kids, and the, uh, the, the, there are no pigments added. The color what you see in the surface is the color of the raw material, of the, of the toys from before. Thanks to the speckled look, um, the, the products are recognizable as recycled, and in the same time, this pattern gives it the, it makes it a unique product. We added three more products to the collection, and, um, and we launched them last year. In less than one year, we received six international des design awards for it, and we were invited by more than 20 museums and, uh, and exhibitions all around the world. I must say, we are very glad to receive this uh, recognition from a team of experts. But my story doesn't end here, it's just about starting. Because we want to tell the story to kids, and that's why we decided to, uh, to make a book and a school program. The main protagonists of the, of the book are the most common plastic toys. You've seen them all around you, the, the, the push bike, the toy kitchen, the ring man. In the first part of the story, they experience a life journey of being products in the toy shop until, um, until the, they become the kid's best friend. But in the second part, they are saved from the oceans, landfill and waste incinerator, what also happens in, in, the, in the real world. And finally, they got a new life as, uh, as, as, pro as products. For, for children, toys are uh, products they really know and love, so nothing can make them more engaged. And our, our um, idea was not to collect a lot of toys from them, but let them experience, experience to, that they can feel uh, excited and proud to deposit unused or broken toys in our container. We are very glad when they point to the colorful flakes in the product and say, uh, my toy is in this chair. That makes the, the, the circle completed in their minds and uh, the loop is closed. The colorful plastic to toys have been transformed into beautiful products and accompany the children once again. That makes for them um, the first experience of the circular economy and that makes the story full circle. Thank you very much. This was, is my toy story.